there are three broad categories of feedback. The first one is appreciation. What does appreciation sound like? When somebody's giving feedback that is appreciative, affirming, what might that sound like? It's sincere, yeah. I'm gonna take it a little deeper though. It is holding up a mirror and showing the person some of their key strengths. I might say, Andrew, it is amazing to watch you at a networking event. You are so awesome at your ability to go connect with a variety of people and then introduce them to each other. I really admire that about you. Leia, oh my goodness, your creativity and your willingness to take on big things. You created one of the most significant clubs in Philadelphia and to watch it grow, incredible. Now, do you notice what's happening here? I'm not just saying a surface level thank you. It's, it's bringing out what's somebody's strength and how is that showing up in the way that they engage. Most of us need and want appreciation. We need and want other people to mirror to us what our real strengths are. All right, another form of feedback is coaching. And this is where we, or let, let's, let me ask you, what, what does a coaching conversation include? What's a part of that? So it's pointing out some of the things that you do well. Yeah, what else? So coaching actually shows the person, here's how you do this. So in the scenario that we just did with the activity person A and person B, in some ways you could say, I was coaching you by giving you the specific scenario of what to say when somebody gives you unsolicited feedback. And so it's actually a concrete action or step that you can take in order to continue your own development. And sometimes the person being coached doesn't even know that they're being coached because it's solutions focused and it gives them an insight, an idea, an aha moment and they connect the dots on something and they say, oh, now I know how to do that or now I know I, I, I wanna take that action, right? Coaching. All right, the third form of feedback is evaluation. What might evaluation sound like? When you're getting evaluation from somebody, on a scale of one to 10, I think the performance on that was a six, and here's why. Here's what we need to do. Here's the criteria that we're looking for in excellent or outstanding work, and here's where this fell short. Here's what we can do to improve. So that's evaluation, right? And the reality is mm, performance review conversations, mm, some people think are an opportunity for evaluation only. And I would say to you, they really need to encompass all of these, right? So really good performance reviews encompass all three of these. I want you to think for a moment about which one of these do you do most frequently? Which one of these is your sort of habituated go-to? Most of us, because of our communication style and our wiring, have one of these that we do better than the others. Some of you are really great at pointing out what other people do well and affirming them. But you may be really uncomfortable giving critical evaluative feedback. Others of you are great at giving critical evaluative feedback, but you may not be doing the affirmation piece. So beginning to look at your relationships and mm, particularly those key stakeholder relationships and beginning to say, I'm gonna put all three of these pieces into the conversation.